And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. At 6.43 on this Friday morning, we're waking up to cloudy skies outside. Looking at the first one five satellite, you can still see those clouds kind of streaming overhead. And they may break a little bit, and then they're going to thicken up, and then they're going to break apart again. So we will see some sunshine uh, throughout the day today. Temperature-wise, it's very warm and humid outdoors. We're at 78 degrees in El Salz to 80 in San Juan. Good morning to you in La Sada, checking in at 77, and it's 79 degrees to start your day in Rancho Viejo. So we do have uh, that southeast wind component in place. And with that being said, right now the winds are blowing between 8 and 15 miles per hour. They are going to pick up and they're going to turn very windy this afternoon. 15 to 25 mile per hour winds are expected, gusting above 30 miles per hour from time to time. High temperature near 95 degrees with partly to mostly sunny skies late in the day. Now we are going to keep the forecast dry today, but looking at Saturday and Sunday, we changed that. Saturday have a 10% chance for rain, and that's a very isolated chance early in the morning. Then by Sunday, I think that's where the better chances for rain start to kick in. We'll give you a 30% chance for some showers and thunderstorms to kind of form in the afternoon. Looking at the setup across Texas, here's the next front. It is still entering the state ahead of that. Some stormy weather over the central portions of Texas this morning, and the chance for some severe weather for this afternoon is definitely in place from about San Antonio going north. Well, all this area in light green is a general thunderstorm category, but when you go north of that, going into Dallas especially, or west of Dallas rather, into southern Oklahoma, you can see that tan color and represents the enhanced risk. That yellow area is a slight risk. So with that being said, just pay attention to the weather as you head north this weekend, just because that severe weather potential will be there for the weekend as this front makes its way through. So taking a look at the European model, we start the clock at six. It's going to remain windy down here today, um, but this front will definitely cause some uh, thunderstorms in the afternoon for the northern portion of the state. Now it gets close to the valley starting at eight o'clock on Sunday morning by the afternoon. All that moisture and that instability because of this front getting closer and closer could bring us some showers and thunderstorms. That's when bumping up your rain chances. Now watch this. We have a next front. It'll come swinging down into Texas and by midweek it'll actually pass by and then that's going to have enough energy with it that it'll keep a chance for rain through midweek. But then behind that, just a little bit cooler. I think you're going to like the setup. I'll show you in a second. Here's a look at the coastal forecast for today. Southeast winds 20 to 25 miles per hour will definitely make the bay rough. So you do have a small craft advisory from 9 this morning until about 8 o'clock later on tonight. Now for the Gulf, that small craft advisory will continue through 1 o'clock this afternoon. Seas will average 5 to 8 feet. So really not a great day to be doing any um, boating or fishing. So when we look at your high temperatures, 83 at the coast to about 93 in Brownsville this afternoon, the steamy 95 degrees in Wesleyco, Harlingen and Raymondville will feel like the triple digits. And then we keep going up the farther west we go. 98 today in McAllen, 97 for you in Edinburgh, 100 in Rio Grande City. Here's your first one, five, seven day forecast. Still breezy overnight, partly to mostly cloudy near 79, 95 tomorrow with that 10% chance for a shower. Bumping up the rain chances and we'll keep them there through midweek around 30 to 40% for Sunday and Monday and then back to 20% for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we're partly sunny and mainly dry by Thursday. But check out the temperature trend. We go down to 90 by Monday, cloudy, still very warm and humid. But check this out, 94 Tuesday will drop to 86 midweek. So a nice little change of pace. Dew point values will go down too, so it'll be a bit more comfortable. We'll be back near 89 for Thursday. Your overnight lows, mid to upper 70s until Tuesday and Wednesday night. That's where you see the change. 70 Tuesday night going down to 67 Wednesday night. That's your updated first one five forecast.